Hi, my dolls. Let's jump right into the craft. First, you want to use the iron transfer paper and print the mirror image of the saying on the paper. Then you want to cut out two canvas squares the same. And you're going to flip over the first one, warm it up, warm the fabric up with the iron. And after you warm the fabric up with the iron, take the saying, flip it over, and iron on the saying like this and yes i did print out the wrong words at first and also my iron job messed up <laughs> so i did have to do this part over with the right words and as you can see now it comes out looking really really good so next i just have to fold over the sides of the square and some uh, the corners are kind of raggedy so you just reinforce that with glue and trim it up to make it look neat like so see how much neater it looks and then next you want to do the exact same thing to the other square now for some reason my second square came out bigger than my first so i did have to do that one over but here the second square is now and it is the same size so for the side of the bag you want to take a strip and fold over each side to make it neat like so this is narrow but i'm hoping to fix that narrow piece <laughs> um but you do want to make sure the end is folded down to get you started so what you want to do then is glue that to the first square and then the end so i get to not use the 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 narrowest in and I can just fold it over like this to make it neat and then I'm going to glue on the next square so for the handle you're basically gluing some more and you're gluing it down and neat um and then you're just going to attach it on so I think that looks really really cute moving on to the next product project um is the pillow you want to cut out two more canvas squares the same and you're gonna use a needle to unravel it i did cut down my squares even more just because my words are kind of small so when you're unraveling canvas like one side or two sides are like a different unravel than the other two sides it's not that big of a deal just make sure when you stack them that you stack the two sides the same so you want to go ahead and use the same iron on method to put those words on and then you want to glue down three sides so after you glue down the three sides you want to begin stuffing the with batting and then after you stuff with batting you want to go ahead and glue down that final side so here are my materials instead of buying canvas fabric i just buy this little canvas bag and then also from hobby lobby i have the succulent stem and you can just pop off the succulent <laughs> like so and for walmart christmas clearance i have this garland and using those hexagonal beads which you can paint or leave plain so for the batting, batting is really expensive, so I just found this pillow for $3.44, and oh my gosh, you get so much more batting than if you go on the sewing aisle and buy batting. So you're going to want to fill the hexagon with glue and pop the succulent in and then turn it under and then fill it with glue at the bottom so that succulent isn't going anywhere. And this is the finished products. I think they look so cute. So if you like this video, subscribe so you don't miss out on more DIY videos. And thank you dolls so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!